In this video, we're going to finish the review of equations worksheet under the infinite geometry tab on the CUDA software website. I'll leave a link in the description below so you know how to access this free worksheet. In number 20, we have the opposite of one minus five X plus eight is equal to negative 17 plus two X. What we need to do is distribute this negative, or you can think of it as multiplying by negative one and their subtraction in between. So distributing that negative, I'm going to have negative one minus a negative five X, but when you subtract a negative, it's adding the positive. So I'm going to have negative one plus five X, and then I have plus eight equals negative 17 plus two X. Now I'm going to combine like terms on the left-hand side, the negative one and the eight. Negative one plus eight is going to be a positive seven. So I have seven plus five X, is equal to negative 17 plus 2x. I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. That'll leave me with 5x equals negative 17 minus 7 is negative 24 and then plus 2x. Next, I'll subtract 2x from both sides. 5x minus 2x is 3x and that's equal to negative 24 plus 0. My final step is divide both sides by three. Three divided by three is one, one times x is x, and negative 24 divided by three is negative eight. So negative eight is the solution in number 20. Moving on to number 21. I'm going to switch all of my subtraction to addition on the left-hand side. In order to do that, as opposed to subtracting four, I'm going to add negative four, since subtracting is positive is the same as adding a negative and the same with the four in. As opposed to subtracting four in, I'm going to add a negative four in. Now I'm going to distribute that negative four. And as you can see, I'll have addition in between. So I have negative five in plus negative four times negative seven is a positive 28 plus negative four times negative four in is a positive 16 in and that's equal to 36 plus seven in. I'm going to combine my like terms on the left-hand side of my equation, the negative five in and the 16 in. Negative five in plus 16 in is 11 in. So I have 11 in plus 28 is equal to 36 plus seven in. Now, I want all my terms within on the left-hand side of my equation and all other terms on the right hand side. So in order to do that, I'm going to subtract seven in from both sides so that my seven in is canceled out. And I'm going to subtract 28 from both sides so that my 28 is canceled out. 11 in minus seven in is four in, and that's going to be equal to 36 minus 28, which is eight. Now all I have to do is divide by four on both sides to get that n is equivalent to two. So two is the solution in number 21. Number 22, I'm going to start by distributing the two. Two times negative seven a is negative 14 a plus two times six, which is 12. That's equal to negative 16 minus seven a. We can think of minus seven a as plus a negative seven a, and then I'll cancel this out on the right hand side. In order to do that, I'll add seven a to both sides. That'll leave me with negative 14 a plus seven a, which is negative seven a, and then I have plus 12 on the left, and all I have on the right is that negative 16. Then I'll subtract 12 from both the sides to get that negative seven a, is equal to negative 16 minus 12, which is going to be negative 28. Then I'll divide both sides by negative seven, and you can see the negative seven divided by negative seven is one, one times a is a, so we have isolated that variable a, and negative 28 divided by negative seven is a positive four, since negative 28 divided by negative seven is four. So four is the solution in number 22. Number 23, again, we're going to have to use the distributive property. We're going to distribute that negative eight to the two and to the seven n. Negative eight times two is negative 16, 
plus negative 8 times 7n is a negative 56n. And that's equal to negative 6n plus 34. In all the previous problems, we've been moving our terms with the variable to the left-hand side of the equation, but we could also move it to the right-hand side. So I'm going to cancel out this negative 56n by adding 56n to both sides. In doing so, I'll be left with negative 16 on the left and negative 6n plus 56n is 50n and then I have plus 34 left on the right. Now I'll subtract 34 from both sides to get that negative 50 is equal to 50n since negative 16 minus 34 is negative 50. Lastly, I have to divide by 50 in order to isolate that n. Negative 50 divided by 50 is negative 1, and that is equal to n. In number 24, I have two distributions. I'm going to distribute the negative 7 on the left-hand side, and I'm going to distribute the negative 2 on the right. So I'll have negative 7 times x, which is negative 7x, plus negative 7 times 3, which is negative 21. That's going to be equal to negative 2 times x, which is negative 2x, plus negative 2 times 3, which is negative 6, and then we're subtracting that 5x, or you can write it as adding negative 5x. Now I'm going to combine my like terms on the right. I'm going to combine the 2x with the 5x. So I have negative 7x plus negative 21 on the left, and then I'm going to have negative 2x plus negative 5x, which is negative 7x plus negative 6. Next, I'm going to add 7x to both sides, and you can see that on both sides of the equation, I no longer have terms with the variable x. I have negative 21 on the left-hand side, and that's equal to negative 6 on the right. However, we know negative 21 does not equal negative 6, so for number 24, we have no solution. Let's continue on to number 25. In number 25, I have two distributions. I have to distribute the negative 4, and I also have to distribute the negative 4 on the right. There's subtraction in between each of these terms. So negative 4 times v is negative 4v, minus negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, so when I subtract a negative 8, I'm adding a positive 8. And then I have negative 4 times v, which is negative 4v, minus negative 4 times 8, which is negative 32. And when I'm subtracting a negative, I'm adding the positive. So plus 32, and then I have minus 8v. Or we can think of this as plus negative 8v. I'm going to combine my like terms on the right. That's going to be my negative 4v, combined with my negative 8v. That's going to leave me with negative 12v plus 32 on the right hand side and I have negative 4v plus 8 on the left. I'm going to add 12v to both sides so my negative 12v will be cancelled out and I'm out my v terms all by themselves so I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. Negative 4v plus 12v is a positive 8v and that's equal to 32 minus 8, which is 24. Now all I have to do is divide by 8 on both sides. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 1 times v is v. So v is going to be equal to 24 divided by 8, which is 3. 3 is my solution for number 25. And number 26, I'll distribute the 2 on the left-hand side, and I'll distribute the negative 3 on the right. 2 times x is 2x plus 2 times 8 is 16, and that's equal to negative 3 times x, which is negative 3x, plus negative 3 times 3, which is negative 9. And remember, there was addition between each of those terms. I'm going to start by subtracting 16 from both sides. So I'll have 2x on my left, and that's equal to negative 3x plus a negative 25 since negative 9 minus 16 is negative 25. Then I'm going to add 3x to both sides. 2x plus 3x is 5x, and that's equal to negative 25. 
My final step is to divide both sides by 5. That'll leave me with x equal to negative 25 divided by 5, which is negative 5. And number 27, I'm going to distribute the negative 7, and I'm going to distribute the 5. Remember, I have addition between these two terms and subtraction between these two. Negative 7 times negative 1 is a positive 7, plus negative 7 times 3a is negative 21a. That's going to be equal to 5 times 3, which is 15, minus 5 times 5a, which is 25a. My first step will be to add 25a to both sides. When I'm subtracting 25a and then I add 25a, those will cancel out. And negative 21a plus 25a is 4a. So I have 7 plus 4a on the left, and that's equal to 15. Now I'll subtract 7 from both sides to get that 4a is equal to 15 minus 7, which is 8. When I divide both sides by 4, I get that a is equal to a positive 2. So 2 is the solution in number 27. And lastly, we have number 28. Before I go over the answer to this, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Also, if you have any comments, please feel free to let me know. Now, on to number 28. In number 28, again, we have to distribute. We're distributing the 7 and we're going to distribute the negative 2. We have 4k plus negative 28 minus 7 times 2k, which is 14k. That's going to be equal to negative 2 times k, which is negative 2k, minus negative 2 times 2, which is negative 4. But subtracting a negative is the same as adding the positive, so as opposed to subtracting negative 4, we'll add positive 4. I'm going to combine the like terms on the left-hand side. 4k minus 14k is going to leave me with negative 10k, and then I'm adding a negative 28 to that negative 10k, and on my right-hand side, I'll have negative 2k plus 4. My next step, I'm going to add 2k to both sides to get that negative 8k plus negative 28 is equal to positive 4. Then, I'm going to add 28 to both sides. So I have negative 8k equal to 4 plus 28, which is 32. My last step is to divide both sides by negative 8. And doing that, I'll get that k is equal to negative 4. So my answer for the last problem on the review of equations worksheet is negative 4. Don't forget to go ahead and give me a thumbs up.